So we're going to start with a blue band. Take your time. And we're just going to sit on the floor. You're fine. Take your blue band. Sit onto the floor. You can crisscross applesauce. Relax the head, the neck, the shoulders, the chest. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. And then exhale. Again, inhale. And then exhale. Three. Two. Last one. Now take your arms. Um, hand on elbow, elbow on hand. Take a deep breath. Shoulders are back. Open your chest. Turn and twist to one side. And turn and twist to the other side. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Feeling your shoulders, your lumbar spine. Inhale. And exhale. Using that breath. Nice. Take your hands behind your head without pressing on your head. Open the chest. Shoulders are back and down. Pull your belly in. Turn and twist. Inhale and exhale. Turn and twist. Inhale and exhale. Use your breath. Three. Two. And one. Take your hands. And leave those elbows behind you. Open up that chest and then round them forward. Open that chest. Bring your elbows back. And then forward. Two more. One more. Nice job. Take your arms out to the side. And we're just going to circle the arms one way. Palms are facing down. Four. Three. Still pulling in your belly. Two. One. Now reverse it. Four. Three two, one. Nice job. Take your legs straight forward in front of you, but take your blue band with you. Wrap the band around the balls of your feet. Keep your feet about hip width distance apart. Bring your elbows into your rib cage. If you have carpal tunnel or arthritis, wrap the band around your hands so you're not feeling like you're death gripping it. Inhale and exhale. Point and flex. Use your breath as you point and flex. And point and flex five sit up nice and tall four three two and one now place that band lower just a teeny tiny bit but it's still in the ball of your feet and you're gonna push out one two three elbows are still pulled in shoulders are down chest is lifted belly is activated Three, two, and one. Nice job. Go ahead and take one foot out. Hold the band in both hands. Open the legs up nice and wide. And you're just going to turn that upper body and pull yourself towards that foot. Start to feel the stretch into the back of the leg, into your hamstring. Inhale and exhale into your thigh. Use your breath, your calf muscle. And we're going to point and flex, and point, and flex, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job, pull that leg in, switch, opposite leg, put it on the ball of your foot, again, open both legs as wide as you can, pull yourself towards that foot, towards that uh, thigh, the leg, the quad, whatever works for you, go as far as you can. Inhale and exhale and point and flex and point and flex. Think about bending at the hip towards that leg. Inhale and exhale. Try not to round into your shoulders, but think of bending forward into your belly button. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Pull that leg in. Go ahead and take the band for a moment off while you position yourself into a mermaid stretch. Take the band into one hand and then the other part of the band into the opposite hand. Place the hand onto the floor holding the band. And you're going to think of pressing and reaching as far as you can up. Make sure that the band isn't slapping you in the face, but think of it as going across your chest. Turn and twist as far as you can. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and slowly coming right back and up. Maybe take your arm a little bit further away from you onto the floor. 
Again, opening back, you should feel your shoulder, you should feel your lumbar spine. Inhale and exhale, this feels really good. And then back to center, nice job. Hold your band a little bit closer, choke up on it as much as you'd like. Taking the arms forward, inhale and exhale, turning one direction. Inhale and exhale, now you should feel your hip. And then back to center. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, turn and twist. Again, you should feel your hip, a little bicep, tricep, shoulder and lat, armpit, side boob. Use your breath. Nice. And now we're just going to switch. So take your opposite leg in towards your pelvis and the opposite leg back. Again, hold the band at one at each end, depending on how long or short your band is. Adjust accordingly. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and you're going to turn and twist so the band goes across your chest. Try to look at that hand, feel that stretch into your lumbar spine, your back. Take a deep breath and come back up. Inhale and exhale, do it again. Maybe take your arm that's on the floor further away from you. Inhale, exhale, and then back to center. Nice job. Again, choke up as little or as much as you'd like. Deep breath, inhale and exhale, turn and twist. Now you should feel your hip and your biceps and triceps. Inhale and exhale, use your breath. Last one, best one, inhale, exhale. Nice job. Go ahead and take your feet back in front of you. Soften your knees or straighten your legs. Again, whatever you're most comfortable with. Take the rubber band behind your back and place it towards your bra line, your mid back, your um, rib cage. Take a deep breath, and again, you decide how much or how little you want to choke up on this band. Inhale and exhale. Pull your belly in as you press those arms out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Use your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Three. Two. Pull your belly in. Last one. Nice job. Now bring your feet together like they're in prayer or they're going to clap. Pull yourself forward and up. Inhale and exhale. Turn and twist to one end. Back to center. Turn and twist to the other end. And back to center. Again, bring your elbows in and press out. Bring your elbows in and press out. Use your breath for four. For three. For two. And last one. Nice job. Take the band into your shoulders, and then again, you choke up as little or as much as you want. Take your hands straight up to the ceiling, and then I want you to pull the band out so that it goes behind your head. Inhale and exhale. Use your breath. You should feel your shoulders. Try not to move your head, but just your arms. Straighten those legs out a little bit if you'd like. Find that comfortable position with those legs. Do what works for you. We're really working the arms and the shoulders. A lot of that core, spine, lumbar. Three, two, and last one. Nice job. So now what we're going to do is turn your palms up. Again, choke up as little or um, as much as you'd like. Crisscross your feet. Sit up nice and tall. And then pull out. Press. One. Keep your shoulders down. Chest is lifted. If you feel your neck for any reason, just lower your arms more to take that pressure, that tension off. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to let those arms rest a little bit. Now they're warm. We're going to take yourself and lie down. Take your band with you. You're going to take the band now and you're going to wrap the band around your feet. Again, try to use the ball of your foot. Make sure it doesn't twist up on you. Straighten your legs as much as you can and you're just going to climb that tree. When you climb the tree, you're going as high as you can and then you're walking yourself back down. Inhale and exhale. Walk yourself up. And then walk yourself back down. Now you go as high as you want to. 
as high as your body allows you to, but don't force it. Inhale and exhale as you go down and then up. Nice. Let's take one of our legs out and straighten it all the way down. Take the band into one hand. Take your opposite hand and lie it down, and that's going to be your anchor point. Point and flex that foot that's in that band. Point and flex. Point and flex. And again, you can hold it however it feels comfortable to you. If you need to loosen up the band, go for it. If you need to tighten it up, go for it. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, and one. And now we're going to alternate legs. So we're going to switch one and then the other one and then the other three pull into your belly two last one nice keep that leg up that has the band and we're just going to cross over the hip switch hands when you're holding the band place one hand on the floor and straighten out that other leg try pushing your hip down to the mat try just to cross the leg over so you can feel that stretch into the side of that leg maybe you're going to feel your hip Maybe you're going to feel your glute. Maybe you're going to feel your quad or your hamstring. Maybe you're going to feel your calf muscle. But whatever it is, make sure it feels like a good stretch and not pain if there is a difference. Now point and flex. Point and flex. If you're having a hard time finding that spot, either take yourself, start over, take your leg further down, and then cross over. But if maybe you're super flexible in advance, take your leg higher and then cross over. Find what works for you. And we should still be pointing and flexing. And then take your leg, switch that hand again, and you're gonna take your straight leg and bend it, uh, bring your heel to your pelvis and let the knee fall towards the floor. Then take that straight leg that's in the band and open those legs nice and wide. Think of the knee needing to be the same distance. Don't let one leg go further than the other. Make them match. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, use your breath for five, four, three, two, and one. Take that leg up, and we're going to do a little figure four. Cross it over the knee, pull the leg towards you, and push your knee away from you. Again, find the beauty in the stretch. If maybe the back of your knee starts to hurt here, you might be overstretching that leg. So don't force it. So let's get out of that pull and start to bend that knee. And straighten. And bend it. And straighten. Use your breath, still activating your core by pulling into your belly button. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Three. Two. And last one. Great job. Now we're going to take those legs back up to the ceiling, and we're just going to switch it out. Opposite foot goes in, opposite leg goes down. And we're going to start with climbing that tree. Inhale and exhale, lift, lift, lift. Again, as far as you like, as far as your body can handle, don't force it. Make it feel good. Stretching is so amazing if you really stretch and not overstretch. Stretching will help your day be such a great day. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, and last one. And we're going to hold it there. We're just going to point and flex and point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Nice. So again, you choke up as much as you want to, and we're just going to alternate those legs into a scissor. Inhale and exhale. Using your breath, five, pull that belly in, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So now we're going to take that foot and we're going to cross it over to that hip. Make sure that your foot stays slightly flexed. And remember, you go as far or as little as you'd like, depending on how flexible you are. But your goal is to keep those hips as square as possible. Maybe take your leg higher and then over if you're flexible. If you're not flexible, take your leg lower and over. But again, you want to feel either the back of your leg, your glutes, your hip. But remember, it should feel good. It shouldn't feel like, oh my gosh, this hurts so much. 
pull your belly in, use your deep breath of air, take the leg back up, bring your straight leg, pull that heel in, drop the knee down, and then take that leg and open it up. Think of stretching out those hip flexors, inhale and exhale, use your deep breath of air, pulling the belly in still, keeping everything engaged, inhale, exhale, for five, four, three, two, and one. Take the leg back up. We're going to go into that little figure four, pressing that knee away from you. And then when you're ready, you want to start to bend it. You don't want to feel pressure behind that knee. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and still keeping that core active, still pulling into your abs and your obliques. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, and one. Take both legs back up into that band. Hold the band in each hand. And we're going to go tabletop and pressing forward. Tabletop and pressing forward. And still the same rules are here. Pulling into your belly button. Keeping your spine nice and long. Inhale through the nose. Try not to look at the camera. Try not to look at the screen. Try to keep your neck in line. Crown of your head is long. Pulling your belly button in. Activating that core. Inhale and exhale. Three. Two. Last one. Nice. Now put your heels together. Externally rotate your toes. Go into a frog. Pull your heels in and out. So now you're squishing the thighs together when your legs go straight and your knees will come out to the side when they're bent like a frog. Inhale through the nose, fire up those inner thighs, using your breath, pull that body in and out, squeeze those thighs when those legs are straight, activate that groin, squeezing those glutes. You only have two more. Last one. Squeeze it, and nice job. Allow your rubber band to come down. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Lift your head, neck, shoulders, and chest. Rock yourself side to side. Take a deep breath, and we're going to rest those heads, and neck, shoulders, and chest, and allow your feet to rest back down. Straighten your arms as much as you can, relaxing your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath, and we're just going to lift the pelvis and the glutes. We're not going into a full bridge, more like a hinge bridge. Inhale and exhale, lift your head, your neck, your shoulders, and your chest just for a second to really warm up those abs so that you're sure that you're pulling them in. Slow and controlled, roll them back down. Now let's fire up that lower body. And one. And two. Squeeze your booty. And three. Really articulate that pelvic floor to curl up and crunch those abs and then back down squeezing that glute the entire time, activating that bum. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Now we're going to go into that full bridge. Arms are long, head and neck and shoulders are heavy and long. Squeeze all the way up. Inhale and exhale. We're going to keep squeezing into those hips and glutes and lift your heels. Lower your heels. Inhale and exhale. Five, four, three, two. Squeeze that booty and one. Hold those heels up. We're going to pulse that booty a little bit tighter with those hips. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower the heels. Slowly lower the rib cage, the belly button, and that hip to glute. Nice job. Bring your heels closer to your glutes, and let's do it again. Hands are long. Push into the mat. Inhale and exhale, and crunch the glute. Lift the pelvis and lower. Crunch the glute. Lift the pelvis and lower. Squeezing those glutes, activating that core. Using your breath, inhale and exhale. Last two, last one. Now slow and control, push your palms down, bridge up again. 
hold that position. And lift the heels, lower the heels. Two, three, keep your booty high and tight, hips high and tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold those heels up nice and high. We're gonna pulse those hips and glutes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze it, eight, nine, 10. Lower the heels, rib cage comes down, belly button comes down, and that hip to glute. Take your time, lift your head, your neck, your shoulders, and your chest, find your tremolo truth, create that C curve, really crunch those abs together. Inhale and exhale, take a deep breath, one leg to tabletop, then the other leg to tabletop. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and start to pump for hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Use your breath. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Activate that core. Two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five. Use your breath. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last two, two, three, four, five. Last one, two, three, four, five. Slowly rest your head. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock yourself side to side. Nice job. Go ahead and take your legs up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath. If this is hard for you to do with a straight leg, go ahead and soften your knees a little bit. Open your um, knees out and put your heels together. Otherwise, keep them up towards that ceiling. And I just want you to push your palms down and lift your booty. One, two, three. Use your abs. Four, shoulders are heavy, neck is long. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring your knees in. Give yourself another hug. Rock yourself side to side. Nice job. We're going to go ahead and take your time and place your feet back down. Take your hands slightly underneath your glutes. Just a little bit. Lift your head, your neck, and chest. Keep your arms long but protecting your back more so. Lift those legs up. We're just going to do little flutters. Little tiny flutters for those abs. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees in. Let the head rest and return those feet. We're going to do it one more time. Again, make any adjustments you need to to feel comfortable. Lift your head, your neck, your shoulders, and your chest. The legs are going to come out. Straighten as best you can. And little flutters. One, two. Pull into your abs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, bend your knees, grab your knees, give yourself a hug, and we're gonna roll yourself up. Nice job. Let's go ahead and turn on to your belly. So when you go to lie back down, crisscross your arms, place your forehead directly on top of your hands. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. We're gonna start with swimming just the legs. So point your toes and lift one leg, then the other leg, one, and then the other two, squeeze your booty, three, keep your hips square, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're gonna take our arms, hold them out like a goal post, reaching forward, and pull your elbows straight back to your rib cage. Reaching forward and pull straight back. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Use your breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do them both together. So lift your feet high and tight, extend those arms and pull back. One, two, little coordination here. Three, pull it into your belly button. Four, use those abs. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Rest, nice job. Take your hands, reach them back behind your glutes, crisscross your fingers. You can either lie onto your cheek or place your forehead onto the mat. It's up to you. Take a deep breath. If you can, interlace and intertwine those fingers. If not, it's okay. Stack them on top of each other. Press the palms up and then back down. Press the palms up and back down. Inhale and exhale, lift and lower. And lift and lower. Nice, two more. Lift and lower, one more. Lift and lower. Place your palms back onto the mat right where your lat would be your armpit, your chest. Inhale and exhale, press up into that swan, howl at the moon, squeeze your glutes, activate that bum, and then slowly come down like a push-up. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, pressing up, activate that booty, howling at the moon, and slowly come down like a push-up. Use your breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, press away, engage that booty, and then one more slow and controlled, here we go. Inhale and exhale, press it down and away. Nice. In this position, push your booty back. We're going to bring your knees in. And we're going to go into a cat cow. So when you're in your cat cow, your knees should be hip width distance apart, stamping your palms into that mat. Roll that booty in, squeezing that core tight, tight. And then reverse it. Chin goes up. Articulate your pelvis away from you. It feels so good. And then reversing it again. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Pulling it in again. Nice job. From this position, flex your feet onto the mat. And I want you to press your booty up, lifting through the legs. Go into like that downward dog position. Push your ears next to your arms, pushing your legs back, feeling that stretch. Go into a little bit of prancing, one foot, then the other foot. Inhale, and exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bend your knees. Place your toes together, open your knees wide into your child's pose, lengthen your arms in front of you. Inhale and exhale. Take your time. Both arms, head, neck, and chest to one end of the mat. Use your breath, go to the other end of the mat. Then we're gonna go back to center to lengthen the arms again. Turn your head to the right, turn your head to the left, and then slowly walk yourself back. Now you're going to open your knees a little bit more. You decide keeping your toes together or maybe separating them out a little more. Keep your palms down if you'd like. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can actually place them on your hips as well. We're just going to prop ourselves up and hold it there. Then in that position, I want you to think of lowering and lifting. Think of really separating those hips. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. You're gonna feel some quads. Use your breath. Just imagine your body's going up on the elevator and down on the elevator. Inhale and exhale. And again, if you wanna make this more intense, separate your feet more, lower and lift. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. You're gonna feel those hips. You're gonna feel that groin. Use your breath. Three more. Two more. Last one. Take your time. Hands go back down. Bring your knees together. Feet together. Sit back and down. Lengthen the body. Reaching those arms forward. Inhale and exhale. Keep your elbows down. Then we're gonna go into your plank position. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. I can't see the timer. Here we go. And hold that plank. Remember, you're opening your chest. 
Look at your thumbs or maybe even your fingertips. Pull into your belly button. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Use your breath. Inhale and exhale. We have 15 seconds. If you start to feel your back, just reposition yourself. If you start to feel your um, shoulders, again, reposition yourself, pull your belly button higher, and bend one knee, then the other knee, and into your child's pose. Put your toes together, open your knees wide, lengthen those arms. Inhale and exhale, bring yourself back. Nice job. We're gonna turn around and stretch out those shoulders a little bit more. So in this position, put your arms by your hips or your um, lower back, and you're just gonna bend your elbows down. Pop your chest out. Feet are somewhat close together, maybe about fist width distance apart, but mainly keeping hip width distance apart. Inhale and exhale. And I just want you to open your chest and allow your head to roll back, but don't sink your body in. Think of pushing that chest forward, feeling that stretch and that extension. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Now take your time. Look forward again. Bring one leg up, then the other leg up, and push back again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And then reaching that head forward again. One more time. Inhale and exhale, pushing the chest up, opening those chest muscles, letting those shoulder blades say hello to each other. And then come back, push your palms down, bring your feet down as you push yourself up. Nice job. Take both arms around and forward, bring your forehead to your knees, give yourself a hug. Inhale and exhale. Nice job. We're going to turn and twist. Take your legs out to the side again. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale and exhale, reaching for one side. Use your breath. Inhale and exhale, reaching for the other side. Use your breath. Then take your legs forward, reaching for those toes. Use your breath. Inhale and exhale. And then take your time. Let's do your side bends, mermaid lunge. Inhale and exhale, reach. Shoulders are square. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and then back up. Now hold your hand there and reach, bending the elbow. Square those shoulders out a little bit more. Coming back up, now we're going to add that rotation. Place both hands down, inhale and exhale, reaching as far back as you can. Look over that shoulder. And then back to center. So now we're going to take that leg and we're just going to switch them out. Inhale and exhale, side bend, shoulders are square. Back up, inhale and exhale. Again, side bend, bend your elbow. Use your breath, coming back up. We're going to add that rotation, placing both hands down. Turn and twist as far as you can. Then back to center. Take your legs in front of you. Take one leg, cross it over, and just put your arm against that elbow and turn and twist again. This time you're going to get a little bit further. You're going to feel more lumbar spine and some shoulders. Take a deep breath. We're going to switch. Inhale and exhale. Back to center. Bring both knees back in. Inhale up. Reach for the sky. Rolling down and forward. Reach for the sky again, arms up, open the arms out, bring them back, bend your knees, and we're just going to prop your heels up, flexing those feet, rolling yourself back, slow and controlled, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, arms are going to roll back, then they're going to roll forward, take a deep breath, inhale up. Exhale, roll down. Make circles with your arms. Then reverse. Shake your hips side to side. Rolling up nice and slow. Nice job.